Doctor No, Doctor No, Doctor No, Doctor No. Best opening theme. Star Wars. Back to the Future. Teen both, Titans. Both very good picks. I mean, for it's a Teen movie. Titans TV show. Mud, how many Bonds have you seen? Honestly? Mm hmm. Zero. Ian, how many Bonds? Like five. I know you've written papers about them. I've seen only Skyfall. What happened to the good music? Oh, it's right here. I no, now it's Bongos. It's Albert R. Broccoli. Are we sure this is James those Bond? The, those, fun fact, three blind mice. Do you think every James Bond movie starts with three blind men walking down the street? Oh, of course. Every other guy is white, except the butler. But if they're not actually blind, why did they spend like 20 minutes walking down the street pretending to be blind? Um, to fool James Bond. James wasn't anywhere near them when they were walking around blind. You have to keep the act up. For who? This is a very weird movie starting off. I'm not sure I'm enjoying it. Gotta love the 60s. I'm glad we're at the circle. That actually means the circle. In French. <laughs> Old people muttering in the background. How much do you want to bet James Bond has sex with this woman at one point in this movie? Probably like 10 minutes from now. Okay. Probably already happened. On it screen. Is happening. Yeah. It's long from enough. From across the table. Boy, I sure love not being able to understand how poker works. This is Blackjack. James Bond. Wow, there's like no slur. This is like peak Connery. My goal in life is to be able to, whenever I talk, have my theme music play behind me. Do you think Bond is gonna have as much sex as Shaft? Shaft had sex twice? Oh, Bond is gonna have way more sex. In one movie, though. Shaft breaks hearts, Bond breaks consent. Well, that's because Ian Fleming doesn't know how to write consent. Well, that was consent in the 50s. Now, if you excuse me, I need to call my husband. Hello, HR? Yes, I need to speak with you immediately. HR's also Bond. Why are those doors made out of fucking couch? When do you sleep, 007? With your wife. You guys want to play Guess the Rotten Tomatoes? 63. 87. Mud, congratulations on being closer than Jake at all. 96. It's a classic because it's old. That is the only threshold for being good. Look at his eyebrows. This is what girls try to do when they draw like, their eyebrows. Look at, like, look at how far down they go. 0.65 mil with a delivery like a brick through a plate glass window. Plate glass window. What's it like getting shot by this? It's gonna be the girl he made dinner plans with. Hey, baby, bam! Oh, it actually is. I was kidding. You think he'd be more concerned about the fact that this bitch broke into his apartment? Guys, no. look at this pre-9-11 TSA. That was someone asking, do you have a bomb on you? And then they were going, no. And then you're just like, all right, get in the flight. All right, hot take. They've already overused the James Bond theme. I like to think that there's a band behind him just following him playing it always. Yes, very subtle for a top secret agent. <laughs> Sneaking through the fucking facility, a fucking full hundred-piece orchestra behind him. Yes! Where's Bond? Not Ray Liotta. He's got like woman's sunglasses on too. So does Ray Liotta. Uh oh. They're not discreetly at all following him. His hat should be gone. At 55? Absolutely. Right, lose them. It's a good thing they were tailing us really obviously 20 feet away the whole time. On a dead road. So the first James Bond movie is uh, not spectacular. Definitely not worth the 96%. Government house. I don't think so. That was one of the worst attempts to grab a gun ever. Now I have two guns, bitch. Yeah, the driver sucks complete dick at being a spy. I'm just blocked high. That was some intense action for 1960 whatever. Son of a bitch. Ah, Marlboros. That explains it. Not my choice, but I guess. I understand why he collapsed from them. Is a dead body. Rolling up, like... Dispose of that for me, will you? But he surely wasn't the Kingston man. How is this guy with the jorts and super high socks not like General, pussy magnet just like Bond? <laughs> Who Do you think they dressed him like that just so they can make James look even more impressive? Oh, he's bald as fuck too? Jesus Christ. I mean, that's Sean Connery. You don't have to make him look more impressive. No, but the movie has to. James Bond has to be the alpha. He has to fucking blow every man on screen away. With his entire band walking behind him at all points in time. I'm surprised they're quiet. Maybe they're taking a break. There's a name in this movie that's also really funny, but I can't say it. It's she called hasn't been Dr. No. Yet. No. Is it James Bond? Look at this clue I found. It was only very obvious. He's <laughs> sitting directly onto the table. Shaken, not stirred. Wouldn't Whoa. shaking a drink and stirring it have the same effect? If something inside is supposed to like be dispersed, then the, both of those disperse it. Mmm. In different ways. Now that I've oiled up my briefcase, I can walk over here. Ba -da -ba. So if someone opens it, he knows by the stuff that he put on it. He's a clever dude. I like people whose friends are people. What the fuck was that dialogue? That was some pretty great dialogue, Ian. This guy does not sound like he's from Jamaica. That's supposed to be a Jamaican accent? I also thought he landed in New York based on the dialogue. Ah, uh, the Big Apple. Here I am. That didn't look suspicious at all. Everyone around Bond is either a spy or a woman to be plowed. Apparently everyone's terrible at spying except James Bond, like... Big time. 
they're playing up how great he is by having a Reynolds be incompetent. Yeah. Dude, a C-plus looks amazing when you're in a class full of people who fucking got Fs. What do you think about this? We call it, uh, product placement. He's threatening James Bond with a switchblade. Are you serious? It's the smallest bitch knife. So it feels like every scene James is going to meet someone, and they turn out to be a bad guy. I have a feeling that it's gonna happen in the next 20 movies. Oh, good Ray Liotta's back. Those look like my mother's sunglasses. Are the lyrics Jump Up Music? It's just describing what it is. Sounds like a modern day song. Jump up, jump up and get down. What is that guy doing? <laughs> that guy was dancing. Someone's right. poked out, man. With this moon rocket launching schedule, they don't want anything to go wrong. Oh, this was before the moon landing. 1962. <laughs> that is <laughs> the most sorry. entertaining thing I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah, I'm sorry. I saw that and I got completely distracted. Just ring the gleaner and find out if they send a photographer here tonight, will you? Okay. Can you stop battle rapping and talk? Yeah, right? Like, I didn't understand a word he said. You'll all be sorry, you whack. Roastmaster. I'll be seeing you again. Except his name. What's his name? Dr. No. Thank you. The James Bond villains have the dumbest names. Well, it's that way you know who James Bond is. Only guy with a reasonable name in the whole film. You're not gonna be able to shoot a guy with a pistol from that distance. And they didn't try again at all for the rest of the night. This scene looks like James Bond stole all of that dude's eyebrow. I thought they were gonna crash for a second. Right into the fucking thing. <laughs> that water's awfully blue. They're expecting me. Go ahead. I'm not going to identify who I am, I'm just going to say they're expecting me. Mr. No, is it? Bitch, I'm a doctor. That's a bitchin' room. How much rent costs in there? That looks really good. Probably not much, because if it rains, the room's gonna fucking flood. I do not like failure. You are not going to fail me again. Doctor No, I know you're an elder god, but please listen to me. Pick it up. You know, I'll just take torture instead. Or were they gonna try to assassinate James Bond with a spider? Do you remember, um... Well, the gun didn't work. Let's try getting a spider. Which prequel used the little scorpion? Episode 2. <laughs> Do you think that means he's gonna jump out the window? Oh, that'd be great! <laughs> Nothing like this kick-ass guitar to walk into your room at late at night and go to sleep. Don't check if he's still in the house, just... No, he's acting casual. Oh, I already know he's still in the house. I'm just too good. Oh, there's poison in there. Son of a bitch. You ruined my... <laughs> <laughs> he has a spare alcohol in case this is poison. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. That's funny. <laughs> Fuck, this was poison too. <sighs> I can't get to sleep. I haven't fucked anything today. It's been one whole day. Sean Connery, get out there, man. Oh, a spider. You think he's gonna shoot it? Why is he so sweaty? Oh window. my god, you can see that. Oh, it's not attached at all, yeah. Why did you let it get that close to you, James? You could easily just... Grab it. Or just swat it off. Oh no, it's gonna shuck my nipple. I'm He's in... still not doing anything. You let it get really far. He's oh letting it get really close to him. Jesus Christ. What's it gonna do, dude? Bite you? It hasn't bitten you yet. Spider! 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 All right, I'm not gonna lie, M. Someone put a fucking spider in my bed, and I'm pretty fucking mad about it. Doctor No runs a place like a concentration camp. Oh. No. Oh, by the way, that came for you from London this morning in the plane in the diplomatic pouch. Tell me it's not a fucking tarantula again. Better be a woman. I'm gonna go woman. bang your secretary. There's a woman this way. I, I haven't had like sex in almost thirty hours. Oh, good, you're already ready. What the fuck was that noise? Or radioactive. Radioactive? Did you hear that fucking Geiger counter? They should have cancer. That That's a Geiger counter? I thought it was a weed whacker. If it's like the size of his foot and the thing's going <laughs> That's some Chernobyl shit. Oh, Mr. Bond. What are you doing at three? I already have someone coming over, but uh, you seem kind of freaky. How about 3.30? I'll be done by then. Wow, look at her fucking bedroom. Did you know she's Asian? I love you, Shaft. Yeah, I know, baby girl. Also, Ian, best opening themes, uh, Shaft. Oh, Shaft was a binger. And two miles further on. Stay Sh fucking yeah, away, drunk, drunk, James. What the fuck's wrong with you? You see how much fucking scotch he's drank this movie? <laughs> yeah, a backup alcohol. He had a backup alcohol in case his scotch was poisoned. Nothing as fucking badass as driving a car. <laughs> driving at like 25, too. It wasn't even like spectacular. I love how in the green screen all of the color disappears. Now, during the intense action scene, they don't play the music? The musical reaction scenes, I would argue, detracts from them. I'd rather just Depends hear the Depends on the scene. I feel like this would be the perfect time to play the James Bond theme. Oh, red flag. No, you have Ghost to stop the race, guys. I don't even know what just happened. He yoked under a giant crane. There's no way this, this guy's car would have fit under. Yeah. <laughs> Look how 
how over the top they get with the exploding car. Oh my god. The cameraman just died, that's why they cut. Holy shit. Did you know she's Asian? Oh wow, that was consentful. Don't oh. smell that. Oh, don't lick that. Oh, you're I just finished. Is he gonna pipe first, or is he gonna kill her immediately? Kill, then pipe. No! Yeah. Dude, it's panning to a window and fading. As soon as you can, please. Thank you. Some of his S's are a little bit... It's, it's like a detail, though. It's not There's like a that. hint of it. He's, yeah. not, he's not shaving the whole village yet, His though. chest hair looks he like a tree. He just grabbed her by the collar. Man, he checks his watch. Oh, yeah, I have 30 seconds. I can do this. I'll be able to finish twice. The sound design in that scene was fucking terrible. Yeah, it's the 60s. They don't have good sound design yet. Hmm. From the looks of this apartment, she was Asian. Ah, there's fucking alcohol, thank God. Ah, I better make myself at home. Play some smooth jazz. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is stereotypical <laughs> Asian music. Did you know she's Asian? Oh, he's pretending she's still home. Oh, I put the silencer on. That's classic. The characterization of Bond himself is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I agree, but I think sometimes the reason he's doing so great is because everyone around him. A silencer is a misleading name. It's a suppressor. Yeah, so when someone shoots someone with one of those, it's not like it's throwing a softball at a wall. Like, yeah. it's a, it's still a very audible boom. We haven't even been introduced to Dr. No yet. Isn't that the radioactive boat? Are you James Bond? I swam all the way out here to have sex with you. So this is the character I was talking about with the great name. Are you alone? Because uh, what I do depends on whether you are or not. <laughs> hey, where you are? I think that's a reasonable response, to be honest. With him? Yeah. Also, she walked out of the ocean. I'm going back in the ocean, bye. I trust you now. It's been five seconds. Did you say Honey Rider? Her name's Honey Rider. Yeah. So how many old white men wrote this movie? Ian Fleming. There's a female screenplay writer credited. I am floored. She's the first Bond girl. Quote, quote. Really? He's, had, He's like, already had three. sex with two different um, women. She's classified as the first Bond girl even though he had sex with fucking Mrs. whatever the fuck and also Miss Taro. And then flirted with two more than that. The girl playing Honey Rider is not voicing her. Dubbed over after the fact. She's just a sex symbol. Oh, so they were like, let's get the hottest girl possible, and yes. then we'll have an actress play her. I thought the Universal Monster series had, like, degrading to women scenes. But um, this is another level. Wait until Goldfinger. That's why she's not, they're not reverse shotting to her. Yeah. So you can't see her face, because it's hilariously off sync. Dear Mongoose Dance, or a scorpion with sunstroke sting itself to death. It's almost perfectly yeah. synced. But it's just off enough that now that I know she's She's overdubbed, I can't it's not It's very see. clear to tell. The more we watch this movie, the more, like, shocking revelations regarding the Bond series keep coming forth. It's all your fault. So the ADR fault. actress isn't good either. Why didn't yeah, they just have the girl? It's all your fault. Dude, if she's the good one, imagine what the original voice sounded like. It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Sweden. It's Swiss. That's, like, Swedish chef. Why does she have a shirt now? Where did she get that? What's the fucking point of, like, having dogs in the water? I'm so confused. They're underwater using reeds. Shoot them. It's very clear to tell if you just look at them at all. Look at his happy trail. It goes up into his chest. It looks like a tree. Yeah. It's That's clearly trimmed. It's perfectly too. shaved below the nipples. Yeah. Except like, the line. He clearly wanted his hair designed like that. But why even keep the middle tree trunk? I don't know. I'm going to do a happy trail like it. that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Next time I take my shirt off, I'm going to look like that, guys. I think chest hair is either all or nothing. I don't yeah, think you like have I think it's. I think it should just be nothing. Apparently, every pistol in this series is a sniper rifle. I feel like this has changed into a completely different movie. Like, all the subtle spy shit he was doing at the beginning doesn't yeah. really matter anymore. There's a lot of movie in this movie. That's the worst looking tank I've ever seen. It's probably a car with paper mache around it. It probably is. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. No, it's an indestructible tank made out of cardboard. Those are now! They have a radiation counter of 22.8, by the way. Just throwing that out there. So Bond has no testicles. Probably has a third arm, too. Oh, it's her. Okay. I think. Nope, different Asian woman. Same, same haircut. haircut, though. But that's a racist of you to think that the Asian people were the same. So the first Bond girl is the fifth on-screen Bond girl and probably the 80th Bond girl in his life. Anything at all. Such as two air tickets to London? More women. Your ash. I don't want to be made out of ash and be given to you. That's disgusting. Gross. I Let don't me want pinch that. your ash. Why would you want to pinch my pile of ash on? Oh, cool. The tea was poisoned. 
The one time he didn't check the fucking tea. I didn't have any spare alcohol this time. I'd love to see a bisexual James Bond. A Bond guy. A Think Bond guy. And well, just see how like people react. Or a Bond guy and girl. They like, reacted harsh. Morris. They reacted harshly to Idris Elba's theoretical casting as James Bond. How do you think they react to a fucking bisexual Bond? I mean, well, the thing is, respectfully, wasn't Jane? Wasn't Idris Elba like already Bond in like a TV show, but not really? He's uh, played similar characters. People have a problem with him being specifically James Bond. On the coffee, it was drugged. And we're only mildly concerned by that. In the newer ones with Craig. Wait. It's more, ho there's a lot of homoerotic things in it. People didn't react poorly to that. People actually really like the Yeah, but that's movie. cool. Like, 300 is cool, dude. It's not gay. They're no, not it's gay. not cool. The scene I'm talking about specifically, I think it's in Casino Royale in 2005. Oh, when Mads Mikkelsen beats Daniel when, Craig's nuts. He whips his nuts through a chance very homoerotic. That's not no, cool. No, that's torture. Cool. Yeah, that, that's badass, cool. guys. Guys, it's like 300. 300 dudes in, like, thongs in capes run out to go win a war, and they almost do. Real man's mans. Yeah, real men. Like, the Spartans they're, they're used to fuck mountain. each other for brotherhood. Exactly. No, that's gay. You know? <laughs> that's that's true. true. We don't like gay things They here. did, though. They did. Well, no, stop it, guys. That's where anal they're sex They're only men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight men. Guys being dudes. Oh, Jesus. What's up with his face? He's Asian. Is he? He's Hugo Weaving. I believe that. I'm gonna look it up. Yellow face? Yeah. It doesn't look authentic at all. His face doesn't look real. Look at the shadows over his eyes because it's sticking out too far. It's weird how, like, if it doesn't convince us outside the movie, how does it convince the smartest guy in the movie? So, Joseph Wiseman does not Asian. Oh, that's a very American photo of him. This is a very small and naked little island. An expendable little island, Mr. Bond. I'm gonna blow up the whole fucking island. It's very subtle. No one will know I was here. Good dinner in the 60s. Cigarettes, alcohol, no food. Three grapes. That pineapple looks so fucking fake. SpongeBob lives in it. I like how there are candles, but there's also clearly, like, lights on in the room. Candles are for romantic. Oh, that's why he had the woman taken away. Maybe this will be the first gay James Bond. With your disregard for human life, you must be working for the East. For this much disrespect and racism, you must live in the West, Bond. This is Cold War era. One year before the Cuban Missile Crisis. Was one of the topics of the Cold War Yellowface? It's what the Vietnam War was fought over. <laughs> Karate chop him in the neck. That does neither of those looked like it hurt. Neither did that. Well, one of them looked like it didn't hit him. Did it blow it off the hinge? So impressive. What a super spy. Got out of that with only his intuition. This is like when you're a kid and you go into that giant, like, um, tubes. That like Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. You mean Chuck the best cheese. part of Chuck E. Cheese? The best part you of Chuck E. Cheese. You mean the only good part of Chuck E. Cheese? Dude, I never Uh, no. Did you play Arctic Thunder? You never realize as a kid that, like, when you grow up, you can't go in those anymore. It sucks. I know. They need to make some adult size of these. That's what I'm saying. I want to go to the set of this Bond movie. It totally exists. My name is Max. What's the ADR there? I heard a punch. Maybe he need him. With a punch noise? Yeah. Oh, dude, the danger level. We need to know how much danger. Six. Oh, no, not six danger. Trajectory computer. <laughs> you mean a cell phone? If I walk into this room for my 2019 self with my LG G8 thing Q. You'd blow their fucking minds. I could do all their jobs better, probably. You could fucking land a spaceship, Jake. You could work with radiation. There's probably an app. This is Burger Control. This is Burger Control. I also heard Burger Control. We are going to McDonald's now. Stand by. Oh, the danger level's 25. Thank oh, you. Oh, fuck. Do you want anything? That definitely can't change. Like, look at the way it's yeah, set the, up. Yeah, the number <laughs> is just stuck at 25 like it's painted on. Wait, it's clearly... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They couldn't even build a fucking machine that looked like it's real instead of just this painted on door. Do you remember the dragon tank that was just a paper mache car? Good point. This reminds me of the Toho Godzilla movies. I think this is better produced set slightly. Uh, I don't know. It had a bit of a budget. Yeah, it's true. It has a competent and comprehensive story. Abandoned area. <laughs> so Ian, you're okay. Ian, you're kind of an expert on James Bond. More of an expert than the rest of us, yes. Yes, yes. What the fuck? did Dr. No try to do? I think he was trying to win the space race, but using radiation. How would he do that? What does that mean? Like, 
Here, let me bring up the plot of the movie. Here. <laughs> I love that guy was about to land on the boat. I know he explained it, but I was too busy laughing at his yellow face. And by the way, the Russians technically did win the space race because Yuri Gagarin was in space before literally anybody else. I know, I'm aware. But like, also Sputnik. We were in the we were on the moon first, so technically we America. were. America. Is there really anything that evil about trying to win the space race? Yes, it's, uh, it's communism. But like, he wasn't even launching a missile into the satellite to blow up the Earth. He was just I trying to. He was just testing a rocket. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like it's really that bad of a thing. Oh, now they're fine. Okay, he plowed three women in this movie. Yep. One more than Shaft. Can't. The boat end. Out of ten. Ooh, I actually really easy. enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself, but there's a lot wrong with this movie. Yeah, I agree. And it's not even just like it aged poorly. Like, there's some stuff in this movie that's just got me scratching my head. Like technical issues? I'm gonna give it a modest six. Like five or a six. I'm also leaning towards six because... Well, first of all, the intense sexism is really bringing it down for me, but on top of yeah. that, it feels like it was choppily edited. I'm gonna give it a 7. Okay. Wow. I know, highest. Not by much. I, I thought clarify. you were gonna be the one that disliked it the most out of all I of us. I do dislike it. Okay, let me put it this way to you. To me, a 6 means I can realistically only watch a movie once. I wouldn't hate myself watching Dr. No again. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. what's the next one? From Russia with love. Welcome to the Bonthon.